Oh, Mr. Louis says that the government and train operators will spare no effort to make the rail system more reliable. He says that this is a top priority. Hetty Musfira again with the story. Construction to make it easier to commute to the Tuas area has begun. Four stations will be added to the east-west line starting from Jukun Station. They are Gal Circle, Tuas Crescent, Tuas West Road and Tuas Link. There will also be a 26-hectare depot. Well, the Tuas West extension is expected to benefit more than 100,000 commuters daily. The four stations will be located close to offices and factories to help reduce travelling time by up to 35 minutes for many commuters. Even as the rail network is being expanded, capacity will also be improved in the coming years. More trains are being procured. The Circle Line's capacity will be ramped up by 60%, with 24 more trains to be added progressively from 2015. This is eight more trains than previously announced. The Transport Minister noted the concerns over serious train disruptions in recent months. He said SMRT will put in place a more robust system to anticipate potential faults and vulnerabilities in the system. On the recently announced $900 million plan to upgrade and renew ageing assets, Mr Louis said two main components will contribute to the costs. One is replacing the sleepers of the track, while the other is upgrading of the signalling system. He said the Land Transport Authority and SMRT are in the process of making sure that each party will pay a fair share of the costs. Broadly speaking, I think uh, the formulation is that infrastructural works uh, come under the government, uh, replacement of the operating assets come under the operator, although even within that there is a uh, formula on how to share the cost. On whether the costs will eventually be passed on to commuters as higher fares, Mr Lee said fares are determined by the fare adjustment formula, which is being reviewed. Mr Lee said fares will not be adjusted this year while the review is underway.